So we are in the Atlanta Falcons playbook today. We're going to be looking at Bunch Y-Flex. And of course, Bunch this year, Bunch every year, let's be honest, is very, very good. So I'm going to come out here and dagger. And um, we'll just come out in a regular 245 play. I already got the ball backed up here. So of course, like I said, Bunch this year, every year, very, very good. Very powerful, very powerful formation. Um, obviously, this is a little bit different. Your tight end isn't really... Um, He's still on the end of the line of scrimmage, but he isn't in a three-point stance. He's standing up, and he's off the he's off the line of scrimmage or off the um, shoulder of the left tackle a little bit. He's off there a little bit, so gives him a little bit more space to. Um, I'll just circle through the plays we're gonna do here. I mean, you can see gives him a little bit of. He's mostly gonna be running corners, but he's also gonna be running crossers, which um, I really like out of this. So let's just get right into it here, and. This play is called Dagger, and really, I leave it alone. I do not touch this play at all, and your main read on this is going to be A or X. You're reading crossers, right? Easy completions. Pitts didn't catch it, but easy completions if you possession catch it, right? So we'll run it again. I mean, if you keep getting zoned, their, their user is going to have to take away something. So, and we'll try to get... Like, uh, this is also a play there, if you throw a good pass. <laughs> this is a terrible start to a video, right? But, yeah, read these crossers, and then here, you can, there's also a window there to throw. We'll go into replay here. Let's go into replay. Okay, so you see the too high look. You're thinking maybe there's, um, gonna be some room in there. Which, uh... It ends up being like a, I don't even know, like a, kind of like a cover six there. And this guy just kind of gets lost in the sauce. Still, you see all the open field right there, right? Easy throw on that little, uh, kind of a dig route there, pretty much. Pretty much is what that is. So you get the point of dagger, right? And then sometimes Y can pull up. Uh, if that's like a purple zone, Y can pull him up. Leaves that part of the field open for A, your other crosser, X is your dump off. Right, and then also this Y route in this particular, the, the running back does a lot of different things in this formation. They can, uh, a lot of option routes, I suppose I should say. So if it's, um, if he has a little spot there, I'm just chucking, I'm more so looking at the running back. But if he has a little spot there, he's going to sit. Try to get to the running back real quick. So as you see, like he had like a little spot here. He's gonna sit right there. Um, say there's no spot there and it's covered up. He's gonna run towards this way over here. Pretty pretty simple there. And again here, see if he, yeah, see in there against man, he cooks his man. Right, 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 pretty simple, pretty simple read. But dagger, really good play to come out in. Next one we're gonna go to here is 83 halfback choice. And basically, I leave this play stock as well. Um. I like the gauge route with the wheel. If you have a really fast guy there with some good route running, you can get that to beat against man. The B route over there, uh, really good against man. I'll throw that right now. It's tough to stop, and of course I throw a pick, right? But if you get that guy in a deep third, if you get, like here he's kind of playing outside leverage, but I'm gonna try to throw it anyway. Let's try to like down, pass, lead it, right? Low pass, bullet pass. Okay. You get, you get, and then go back to it. So gauge route good, B route is really good. The RB route gets to a really tender spot in the field, especially against this look, this defense. Two high safeties. You're thinking cover two, cover two man even. You get a fast guy. Ridley's really fast. Gets to a tender spot in the in the uh, on the field. So now the left side of the formation, Pitts is on your corner, right? That's your tight end, big guy. So this Y route, it says it can break towards the middle of the field. I almost can never get it to break towards the middle of the field. So if you don't like the option route, what you can do is put him on an out, and then that's going to create your high-low with uh, pits and your running back, right? And I mean, you kind of saw that over there. We'll try to throw it again. Then we'll worry about the right side of the field. Well, we're getting man, but you see Cook or pits can beat man as well that route beats man which is very nice and see if we can get his own look oh my god man right we we don't we, we don't really get 
we don't get any zone, man. <laughs> all, right, all right, one more time, one more time. Or you can put him on a swing, whatever you want to do to get him out there. So here, a little bit of high low. You can kind of, you, you get you get the idea, right? You've thrown smash concepts out there. And then on the right side of the field, really, it's I mean, it's an easy. Right, middle of the field's open. Try to throw, well, get a gunslinger. That's a touchdown. But middle of the field open. That's that's very, very nice throw. Against man here, we'll try to throw it. Right, low pass, bullet pass. Pick up 10 free yards on that route. And then you still have this gauge route here that also is going to get to a really good spot in the field. I mean, I mean if you get a, if you have an ultimate team, right, it's going to be, we're gonna be a pretty pretty powerful uh pretty powerful route so here same thing ridley is going to clear out for your b route and i really like the gauge route on the right side of the field we're looking here and it's that unbumpable corner type deal very nice route and then pits um coming across the middle of the field if nothing else nothing else is open so there's the clear out we'll kind of show you that I just can't not use Gunslinger, man. Like, it's just not fun not using Gunslinger. But let's look at this here. So here is the Ridley route, kind of clearing out. Figure maybe clear out their user, right? I mean, if it's open, like that was open, I probably could have threw that, right? But I'm trying to use him as a clear out route for this guy on like a inverted zig. And if you throw that down in here, you can see a lot of the field, right? So let's try it again really quickly. There's the clear out. He goes with A. Something like that. Something like that for you. But I do really like this if you're in Atlanta. Something to add to your scheme here. And sometimes, yeah, you can even fit that ball in, which is, which is really, really nice. Sometimes you can even fit that ball in. And then like here, obviously, right? If they're gonna give you, if they're gonna give you the crosser first, take the crosser first. But if not, use it as a clear out. And you still have R, or yeah, you still have A. Sorry, on that. Really, I really like that corner. And oh man, you have nothing open. Pitts eventually would have came open if I wasn't an idiot. So yeah, smash return. I really like this play. And really, guys, we're just running them stock, man. Like I, I haven't touched any of these plays. And as you see. <laughs> what was that? Okay. Alright. Alright. We're just going to go do something else here. So that's smash return, right? If you have a good receiver like Ridley on the top of your bunch, he can sometimes even cook that guy. Like he did there. Bad throw. Z-spot. We've all ran Z-spot. Streak your B. And then if you don't like the option, same thing as we talked about before. Run your Z-spot like you'd run a Z-spot. Make him high-low. You have a smash. You have... Alright. Pretty simple there, pretty simple there. Alright, make them pick, high, low, throw a dot, pick up 25 yards. Pretty simple in Z spot there. Um, another thing, you can, I mean, you can try to drag B. I hardly ever do out of that. But, I mean, if you like something different, or maybe to throw off a user or something like that, uh, you, I like to drag as well. I see, as yeah, Z spot, we'll run it one more time here. Pretty simple though. I mean, I feel like everybody's ran Z spot out of bunch. People have been running Z spot for a long time. And then there's Pitts on the other side beating Man, which is I really, which is why I really like that um, having that corner route on almost all these plays. So last play we got here, uh, dig return. And really, you can do a lot of different stuff with this here. You can put him on, put A on like a smart route, an out route, and then. I mean, you know, I, I, that's a lot of setups there, but but I do like the smart route out route, and then leaving the halfback option on this play, even if you don't really like it, because that's already two hot routes on dig return, right? One for the out route, one for the smart route. But I really like the timing with it here, as it it kind of makes them pick pick a pick a guy, and I threw a bad ball there, but. I threw a bad ball, but all good. Mostly you're going to be taking the underneath if you don't get guy in your lap. 
But yeah, this is already a super long video. We did go over a lot of pass plays, so another thing you can do with A is just streak them and then use this is like a dig concept, right? Linebacker goes with A. Have the uh, in coming underneath of it. Which is also something I really like to do. And then you have the B. It's just a man beater out there. Or it's just as a, yeah, I mean, anything beater really. Beat zone beats man. Just as your check down, I guess I should say. So then you have your check down to your back and your... And your thing. So like there, middle of the field was kind of messy. Take your check down. The back was probably open there. I was more so looking B. More so checking out the right side of the formation here because we've done, we've done the uh, left side, pretty much similar every single play. And there we'll show you against man, right? And that's I don't know if he's one step, but that's a good corner though in uh, Bradbury there. And I just ran a play accidentally here, so we'll just chuck it up. And okay, okay. But yeah, that's pretty much the scheme. If you're in Atlanta, you can add this to your, uh, add this to your repertoire, add this to your scheme. And there's also a run, there's also like a halfback base, or an inside zone. There's also a run out of this, but these are just five, five pretty decent pass plays I found out of here. Um, just messing around here in Atlanta. But yeah, if you can add to your scheme, get it up and down the field one or two more times in the game. Sounds like a dub to me. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, and look at stuff. Appreciate all love on videos lately. And yeah. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.